Lauren, uh, last year, big big year for you, obviously, in Rio. Uh, just tell us uh, a little bit about that experience uh, and how it compares to previous Paralympic Games that you've been to. Um, I think with every uh, Paralympic Games, they're all different. So from Beijing to London was different, and then London to Rio was different. Um, London will never compare because you always have I suppose the home crowd, 17,000 people cheering for you. But Rio itself had this fantastic kind of carnival feel to it. And I always say that on a, I suppose, a sprint distance course, you know, you're on a 5K uh, bike loop, you might get, I suppose, a small group of people. But in Rio, on Copacabana, there was no break in the barrier. There was people the whole way around uh, cheering you on, even if, you know, you weren't the same country as, as, you know, to where they were from. So it was a fantastic um, feeling, a place to be. and. I have mixed emotions on Rio as an experience. Um, very proud of myself, obviously getting my first ever Paralympic medal, but also very disappointed in myself uh, for making, um, I suppose, a very big mistake on the swim. Um, but then proud again of how I reacted and dug deep and and got back to you know a silver medal position, something that I'm not sure many athletes could have done. So, as a whole, it was a very positive experience, um, and I'm very proud of what I achieved in Rio. Now just tell us a little bit about this year because um, we spoke off camera earlier and you, you told me you're going to be racing but uh, racing's not uh, just the sole sort of goal this year you've got some some other things out of there that's still connected to sports so just give us a little uh, insight into those. Yes yeah, so I've been trying for the past few years to complete my Masters in Business and Management at the University of Portsmouth uh, but obviously I believe the hand-in date for my dissertation was the 10th of September last year and I raced on the 11th so I said to them I'm really sorry but I'm not sure that's going to happen and they managed to extend it um, and it's due in a couple of weeks so this year was the main priority was you know making sure that I can achieve what I would like is a distinction in the Masters um, so there, that was the main goal this year but then obviously Europeans and Worlds are still on you know still on the go this year so they're the three goals I suppose for this year yeah and it was um, quite a sporting connection as well just uh, tell us a little bit about the topic yes, of that so in my Masters for the dissertation I've decided to do um, a comparative analysis between sports managers and business managers on using resilience as a tool for organisational success because I do a lot of work with um, I suppose a sponsor, One Performance, that are a business consultancy company and when I've been giving speeches or sat there listening to the work they do uh, it's come across that there's a lot of transference between both sport and business so I just wanted to highlight what are the key things that I think from an athlete point of view of resilience can actually be used quite well in business. Um, just give us your insight just into into the growth and, and the growth of quality I suppose of, of racing at the Paralympic uh, triathlon level because you're, you're still relatively new to triathlon uh, you came into it so sort of after after London 2012 but uh, it seems that the depth and the standard of Paralympic uh, and para tri racing is just increasing year on year it is definitely and I think that you know with whole Paralympic movement um, that can be seen and uh, you know it was broadcast fantastically at London um, and you saw just the level of performance across all athletes in Rio you know go really far but then from Paralympic front you know to go from not being you know a Paralympic sport to being a Paralympic sport I think that in itself people kind of got behind it and, and transferred from other sports or did both at the same time so in, in my own category um, kind of the speeds and the times that have happened in the last four years you've seen them I suppose you know get lower and lower each year so I can only say that the they're going to get lower as well. Yeah, good. So uh, we're going to see you in hopefully Rotterdam and is it Kitzbühel I think for the for the Europeans. So um, good luck with those the rest of the year and uh, particularly good luck with the Masters. Thank you very much.